one of the issues I've already spoken about is stealing and pinching. And that crumbles society. If you want to build a nation, you have to cut out stealing and pinching. And do you know what? One of the ways of stealing and pinching, unfortunately, is corruption through bribery. Bribery. When bribery gets to a point, the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ has prohibited it from the beginning. But when it gets to a point, it destroys the very fabric of society. When you want something that is your right, you are not going to get it. Why? I don't see the money in my hand. But I'm getting a salary to do this job. No, you have to pay. If you cannot pay, you are not going to get it. That's it. Pay what? You have to give me something for myself. Let's never be like that. We do it, we will earn a salary, and by the will of Allah, we will be able to enjoy the blessings of that. What's the point of having a thousand dollars when all that thousand needs to go on medical bills? Whereas another person has two hundred dollars, but he's happy, he's sitting at home, he's spent, he's got a little bit of change, etc. It's called barakah. Blessings. And that's why the happiest people are never ever the richest people. Go and check. They are not happy. Show me one rich man who is happy. They are not. They cannot sleep at night. They cannot. And I challenge you. It's difficult because there's so much of issues they have on their minds. This problem, that problem. And what happens with us. I said it last week in the same masjid and I'm repeating it again. Man is such that when you say, hey. You know what? The day I earn my first million, I'll be happy. Do you remember I said that last week? Then what happens? Your first million comes. Are you happy? You are actually more sad because you now want another million. I promise you. You now want another one. When you make your first billion, trust me. Well, at that time you can call me also, inshallah. It's okay. But when you, when you make your first billion, trust me. You are going to want another one. And, an, and you are not going to sleep. You are not going to sleep. Man cannot stop. Even if he says today, make my first million, I'll retire, I'm stopping. He won't. Allah says it already. We understand it already. That if man has a valley of gold, he'll want another one. Another one full of gold, he'll want a third. Until he dies and his mouth is filled with the dust, then it's okay. So... We need to know when you compare yourself with someone else that has much more, that is wrong. If you see someone who has more, say, Alhamdulillah, MashaAllah, Inshallah, I'm going to work hard. Let's try and achieve. No harm. There's no harm in trying. And there's no harm. You might even get beyond that person, but it will be through hard work, through happiness. You are not going to get something by dropping someone else down. You see, when you have a business, in order for that business to succeed, you have to prove it, you have to work hard, your product has to be good. You do not have to talk about the other business next door and say their product is bad. Those people Don't point at others, don't even say their name, not at all. You don't need to talk about anyone else. Talk about yourself and your product, make people believe in your product and you are going to proceed. The minute you start talking about someone else, it shows you have nothing to offer. It's sour grapes. It is perhaps jealousy. Perhaps our product is not that good, so we have to talk about others. Let's not do that. It doesn't work that way. Allah says to us, you work hard and we will open your doors. Like I said, the hadith says, Ihris ala ma yanfa'uk. Then it continues to say, Wasta'in billah wa la ta'jaz. Seek the help of Allah. Seek the help of Allah and don't give up. Don't become lazy. Don't give up at all. Work hard. Keep on working for what you want. Like I said, if not today, tomorrow. If not this year, next year. If not next year, after 10 years. But that door is going to open. For as long as you keep knocking on the same door and you are trying hard, it will open by the help of Allah. Don't be lazy. So when corruption overtakes, what happens? Justice is lost because a person who would like something that is his right, he does not achieve it because he didn't pay a backhander. He didn't give that bribe. And this is why the hadith speaks about how it is a disease. Bribery is a disease. It gets to a point where only the wealthy achieve 
And if you can't pay up, you don't achieve. And that is how society crumbles. So what can we do about it? People might say, what can I do? Everybody is corrupt. Hang on. You see, what you have said now is already a solution. When you say everybody is corrupt, there are three fingers pointing back at you. Subhanallah. So what you have to do, you have to say, we are not going to be corrupt. We are going to make a difference. Wow. I can only start with myself and I can only encourage others. That's all. But for as long as I know I've started with myself, that trend will commence and it's going to go far and wide. If any nation or any individual would love to see growth truly in themselves, in their lives, in that particular nation, one thing you have to eradicate is bribery. Without that, we are going absolutely nowhere. No way. Because what's your right is given to someone else because they paid for it. And what is not theirs, they got it because they paid for it. Subhanallah. And if someone else pays more, it will go to a third party. That is what bribery is all about. So we need to speak about it at home, at our workplace, everywhere else to say, listen, no to bribery. And we start with ourselves. No to bribery. It's tough because society becomes used to a certain norm. Any small thing that happens, if you don't have that, you know, greasing hand, you are going to get nothing. It's going to get nothing. Imagine we actually know the terminology because that's what's happening. Subhanallah. You know, they look at you, they say, I remember once I was stopped some time back so last year. And uh, the man who stopped my vehicle told me, it's a hot day, how about a Coke? I said, yeah, no problem. I had a Coke in my cup. I picked it up. I gave it to him. He said, no, I don't mean this Coke. I said, is there another type of Coke here? <laughs> Subhanallah. So my brothers and sisters, it goes to show that it becomes the norm of society. We need to do something about it, inshallah. Let's pray. Let's pray for our nation. Let's pray for ourselves, our families, our communities. Let's pray for the globe. We need to effect a change. And Allah says, Inna Allah, la ma bi hatta ma bi anfusihim. Allah will not change a nation until each one changes himself. You change yourself, the nation is going to change. You keep pointing fingers, you achieve nothing. That's why I said a loser is he who talks about another man. But a winner is the one who talks about himself. What am I going to do? How am I going to contribute? I, I recall walking into an office somewhere and the people were sad and they were looking depressed and they were sending you from pillar to post. And I said, can I just talk to you guys for a moment? You know, can we smile because we want to change the country, don't we? If we don't smile and show that we are enthusiastic about our job here, we're going to change nothing. You have, to happily, you have to happily do your job. And then the people who come to see you will be happy and you created excitement. That excitement is already growth. Trust me, my brothers and sisters, when people are excited about something collectively, we are heading in the right direction, inshallah. But the problem, I am depressed, I am sad. The other one is sad. You come, you put a pen that way. He fills a form like this. He gives it back to you. He throws you to the other corner, tells you come tomorrow. All those things, they show depression. And depression, not just in people's minds. Depression in society, community. Everything would go down. So let's have a positive attitude. Growth is coming. Solutions are coming. Jobs are coming. Everything is coming by the will of Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Keep a positive outlook. Let's look at it positively. Let's make sure that we don't lose hope. I told you, and I'm repeating this. Your opportunities stop the day you give up. For as long as you did not give up, the doors of opportunities are totally open, completely. Keep knocking on them. Don't ever lose hope. Get up every morning. And go and search again, go and search again, go and try again, go and try again. One day the trial will open the doors. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless every one of us. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant those who are...